Hey, Kingdom Kids, come on. It's almost time for our adventure to start. CC, it's story time. CC, it's story time. CC, always telling the stories. Pink hair and socks, and she's never boring. Whiteboard with the orange tie. You need a recap. Derek is your guy. Oh, with a flow so cold. Everybody get ready for adventure mode. Heather with the crew that's so disruptive. Hey, what's that? Friendly interruption. Kingdom Kids, yeah, Kingdom Kids. Kingdom Kids, yeah, Kingdom Kids. Hey Kingdom Kids, it's so amazing to see you again. In our adventure today, we're going to learn about a time where God made a promise to a man named Abram. But before we do that, we need a recap. Take it away, Derek. A man named Job loved God with all his heart, and the Lord provided for him with donkeys, camels, oxen, and many children. The devil came to the Lord and said, The only reason Job serves you is because you have provided for him. The Lord gave Satan permission to take Job's things away. But when Satan took away Job's family and animals, Job continued to praise God. Even his family and friends told him to curse God and that it was his fault that he was going through all of this pain. But Job continued to praise and fast. Then the Lord doubled all of Job's earlier possessions his children, oxen, camels, and sheep. And Job continued to praise God. Amen. Anyways, back to you, Cece. Wow, that sounds like it was terrible for Job. Almost like this one time where my mom and my dad took away my- We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you this friendly interruption. Please enjoy this riddle from our wonderful Dr. Richard. Kingdom Kids, and welcome back with more riddles with who? You guessed it, Dr. Richard. Now, tell me if you can solve this one. You cut me, slice me, dice me. I don't think that's nice, see? But I make you cry. Oh, Sojo, Kingdom Kids, what am I? Hmm? I'm an onion! Oh, you couldn't tell with all the layers! <laughs> but you didn't get that one. Oh man, I was so close to figuring that one out. It's fine, I'll get it next time. Back to Cece. Man, that was a hard riddle, Dr. Richard. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for... Adventure Mode! The Lord said to a man named Abram, Leave your land, your family, and your father's household for the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation and will bless you. I will make your name respected and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. Those who curse you, I will curse. All the families of the earth will be blessed because of you. Abram left just as the Lord told him, and Lot, his nephew, went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he and his wife Sarai set out for the land of Canaan. The Canaanites lived in the land at the time. Abram made many altars for the Lord and gave burnt offerings to the Lord as he went. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am El Shaddai, which means God Almighty. Walk with me. The Lord brought Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you think you can count them. He continued, This is how many children you will have. Abram trusted the Lord. I will make a covenant between us and I will give you many, many descendants. You will be the ancestor of many nations. Your name will no longer be Abram, but Abraham. I will give you and your descendants the land of Canaan as an enduring possession and I will be their God. As for your wife Sarai, you will no longer call her Sarai. Her name will now be Sarah. I will bless her and give you a son from her. I will set up my covenant with Isaac, who will be born to Sarah at this time next year. When God finished speaking to him, God ascended, leaving Abraham alone. The Lord appeared to Abraham as three men. As soon as Abraham saw this, he ran from his tent entrance to greet them and bowed deeply. He said, Sirs, if you would be so kind, don't just pass by your servant. 
Let a little water be brought so you may wash your feet and refresh yourselves under the tree. Let me offer you a little bread so you will feel stronger. They agreed, so Abraham hurried to Sarah at his tent and said, Hurry! Make some bread while I prepare some meat! He put the food in front of them and stood under the tree near them as they ate. They said to him, Where's your wife Sarah? And he said, Right here in the tent. Then one of the men said, I will definitely return to you about this time next year. Then your wife Sarah will have a son. Sarah was listening at the tent door behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were both very old, so Sarah laughed to herself, thinking, I'm no longer able to have children, and my husband's old. The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Me? Give birth? At my age? Is anything too difficult for the Lord? When I return to you about this time next year, Sarah will have a son. Sure enough, about a year later, Sarah had a baby boy, and they named him Isaac. The Lord kept his covenant with Abraham and blessed him greatly. And that's what we learned on... Adventure Mode! Kingdom kids, just like we learned in our last lessons, God keeps his promises. When God told Abraham that he was going to make him the father of many nations, you best believe that God is going to keep that promise. Remember, Kingdom Kids, you can always count on God because He will never fail. Well, anyways, that's all the time we have for today, Kingdom Kids. But I'll see you next time. Bye! I like this video. Did you? Well, like and subscribe.